A healthy life is restlessness. Every heart that beats is contracting and expanding all the time. The journey of life is up and down. So you want to always have a certain healthy measure of restlessness and angst, but not one that's so extreme that takes control of your life. So many of us have suffered from anxiety, myself being one of those people. Well, today I sit down with Rabbi Simon Jacobson and he talks exactly how to deal practically with anxiety. Get ready for 2024 with today's sponsor, mulliganbrothers.com, where you can get the Memento Mori poster, a poster that reminds you that time is extremely precious with the link in the description. A great gift if you wanna try help motivate people and inspire people. And also the Not A Journal is available with a discount with a link down below. So get ready for 2024 with these two amazing tools. Let's dive into the video. So what is anxiety and how do you deal with it and how do you pass, how, you, how do you grow through it? Um, I wanna distinguish between clinical anxiety and we'll call it more day-to-day -day anxiety. You know, clinical anxiety, there are people who have that anxiety or depression even, and they may need a professional like a psychiatrist or a slash therapist who will maybe prescribe a medication. I'm not pushing medication necessarily, but you know, there are medications today that don't solve the problem, but they lower the temperature so the anxiety is not as intense. And we all know anxiety is, creates more anxiety. Anxiety doesn't let you make good decisions. You become impulsive, reckless even. So sometimes you may need that and, and you also would need to talk to someone. So I don't want to talk about that because if you need a professional, you should go to a professional. It's not going to be my few words here. But I want to talk about the anxiety that we have more control over. Not that that's not a chemical imbalance or something chemical or clinical. Um, so I think a good way to put it is this. There's a healthy anxiety even. We'll call it angst, healthy angst. I know the word anxiety sounds terrible, but let me explain. I remember was a guy, he was a cardiologist. A heart doctor came to one of my classes and he was a really sweet guy, but he had a very difficult life, personal and health. He had a lot of issues, challenges. And I always really felt for him. One day he comes to me, he says to me, I'm such a terrible week I've had. Maybe you can do something, intervene, and just, I'd like to have a peaceful week, just total peace. I had a good sense of humor. So I said to him, so you mean like a flat line? So he said, no, no, not that peaceful. You know, a flat line in a cardiogram is a sign of death. You don't want a flat line. A heartbeat, a healthy heartbeat looks like a wave, like that, like a wave. You know, there's the contraction, expansion of the heart, like the breath, exhale, inhale. So a flat line means the heart has stopped. So it means he's basically saying, and this is the point I want to make, that healthy life is restlessness. That's a healthy life. There's going to be ups and downs. Every heart that beats is contracting and expanding all the time. The journey of life is up and down. When it goes to extremes, if you have an extreme up, it peaks too high or goes down too low. That's when you get into either high levels of of anxiety and or high levels of depression or resolution like you know people who are so calm and relaxed and they're never restless that's also not healthy they're just sitting they're not motivated so you want to always have a certain healthy measure of restlessness and angst but not one that's so extreme that takes control of your life so i think it's important to understand that we all need a certain element of longing seeking reaching yearning if you don't have that, you're not human. And I actually cite a verse in the book of Proverbs. It says, the soul of a human being is a divine flame. It's a flame of God. Look at a flame. A flame never rests. It's always flickering. It's always restless. That's what a soul is like, a restlessness. The body could be very, um, the body can become extremely lethargic and almost like dead. You know, you're just sitting around. But the flame is always that spirit and when you see somebody who stopped flickering, it's not a good sign. If they, if they lack the sparkle in the eye, whatever reason, there's something missing. Okay, so it's important to know that the soul is a flickering flame, always restless, and longing is necessary, and longing is always gonna create, I don't have it yet. So that's gonna create some form of angst. I don't wanna call it anxiety. When it spills over to the point that it's so much anxiety, so much tension, and you don't have resolution, that's the problem. 
So there's actually a mystical concept called tension and resolution. You always need that measure. Tension means you're longing for something, you're seeking something, and then you find it and integrate it. And then you continue climbing. So it's always important to look up and then try to gain and in internalize it and then continue climbing. I'll just share a story. There was a story with one of, I bring that in the book, Toward a Meaningful Life, in the chapter on body and soul, that there were children playing on a ladder. And all the children were afraid to climb to the top, except one child. He climbed all the way to the top. So his grandfather, who was watching, said to his grandson, and said, tell me, why were you the only one that was had the courage to climb to the top of the ladder? And his answer was brilliant. He said, because when the other children were climbing, they kept looking down. So they saw how high they were. They were afraid to climb higher. When I was climbing, I kept looking up. I saw how low I was, so it motivated me to climb higher. So a healthy, growing human being is always looking up. And when you look up, you always see horizons you haven't conquered yet. So it's a motivator. But there's also going to be a measure of tension, a measure of angst. And that's healthy. So don't confuse, don't think just because you have some anxiety, maybe it can be turned into something that you want something, translate it, what do you want, and now figure out how to get it. Well, now, when anxiety goes overboard, then you need the other side. You need something to resolve. You need something where you can find peace and calm and say, okay, what is it that I'm anxious about? And let's see if I can resolve it. And again, I'm distinguishing, distinguishing this from clinical or chemical uh, anxiety or depression. Thank you so much to Rabbi Simon Jacobson for doing this. I told you guys, this man is very wise. He has some incre incredible philosophies, incredible teachings, and articulates it beautifully. So thank you to Simon Jacobson for doing this. Today's video was made possible by mulliganbrothers.com where you can get ready for 2024 with the new Memento Mori posters linked down below. A poster that reminds you that time is extremely precious and you must use it wisely. So get the frame and the poster with a uh, discount with a link down below. And also the Not A Journal, the success journal that you guys have been raving about that helped us get to the position where we are today and change our lives, but also has helped so many of you guys for those who haven't had one yet or bought one yet, it's a, a journal where you reaffirm your daily goals, your weekly goals, your monthly goals, and your life goals every single day, breaks it down into task lists to actually make shit happen. That's what it's all about. Um, so if you're just refilling on your journals, I know you guys sometimes when the sales are on, buy a few of them. There is a sale on, link in the description. But if you're buying a new one, I recommend you get a couple of them. They're great gifts as well. Thank you to everybody who supported us. All the profits from the journals, from the t-shirts, from everything on the website goes back into creating this content. I'm on a mission right now to interview as many people as I can by the end of the year. And also guys, we are now on Spotify. Uh, go check it out. Yeah, full episodes are on Spotify and on YouTube. Um, thank you for watching. Have a blessed and productive day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.